Bonjour. 11.2 is about suivre and vivre. Two verbs that are conjugated the same way. They end in re, but there's some irregularities. Good news is they are very similar and they're still following some patterns that you should have that you should recognize. So let's jump in and then we'll talk about what they mean. So suivre and vivre. For both of them, we're going to take off the V R E. Okay, on one side. Okay? And on this side. So I know, it's like I chopped off like most of the verb here. That's the singular side. On the plural side, we're only going to take off the RE. Okay, guys, this is where you should already know what's going to happen. S, S, T, S, S, T, O, N, S, whoop, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. That was pretty painless. This is going to be one of the shortest lessons, I think. Okay, now, you're looking at this, and if you see this, this is going to drive you nuts. Je suis... Um, je suis un cours de biologie. When you look at this, your French one mind should just be like blown right now. Because this looks like I am. It's spelled exactly like I am. There is no way to tell the difference except the context. It looks like you're saying I am a biology course. But what it means, suivre, suivre, it means to follow. Or when we're talking about courses, you're you're taking you're taking a course in biology. Okay? Um that's what it means. If you're following somebody, je suis uh la voiture, I'm following the car. Okay? Je suis, I am following. Doesn't just mean I am. So once you get past the craziness of how this looks exactly like I am, but means something completely different, and just kind of release that stress there, it's fine. It's really easy. But now, you never knew. That's why we didn't tell you until now that être and, and je suis, and now this is crazy. It's right. It's like, woo, it's supposed to be, how is this? Je suis content. And just three, and it's the same thing. I don't know why. It is what it is. It's okay. All right. Next, vivre, vivre, um, to live. So you could say, je vis au New Jersey. And also, uh, to live, but also it can have the sense of to be alive. It's something. It's living. Okay. It's vivant, it's living, um, and, or he's not living anymore, okay, il ne vit plus, um, and vive, uh, we would say, vive la France, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about it too much more, because it's really, it's just that simple, that's to follow, and that's to live, and once you know the conjugations, it's really not all that bad.